Now let's talk about traits. Do you remember when we talked about inheritance? A class can extend only one class. But what if you wanted to inherit multiple classes and have their functionalities in your class? Well, the answer is trait. We use traits to be able to solve the problem I mentioned. We define traits like this. Trait and the name of the trait. For example, example. And then inside the trait, we can do everything that we do in a class. We can have properties, we can have methods. And then when we go to our class, for example, class human, here, rather than using extends, I can write use example. That's it. Now I have all the functionalities and methods in, of this trait inside this human. So, for example, let's say I have a trait speak and this has a public method called speaking and it echoes hello, I'm speaking. Now, if I use this trait in my class, I can say Amir is a new human, this human, which is Amir, can speak. Now if I run the code, hello, I'm speaking. I haven't written one line of code in my human. I just used all the methods inside this speak. So what's the difference? The difference is that if I create a lot of traits, I can use all of them inside different classes and it's much cleaner. If I change it to class, then I have to extend it. I will get the same functionality, obviously no problem, but I would be limited to only one, extend one parent, but here if I use the trait itself again, I can easily have multiple traits and my class could use all of them. I, I could just list them here. For example, if I say there is another trait like it, hello, I'm eating, then I can easily use it here and then I can say eating this eating method is coming from it trait and the speaking method is coming from speak trait now I can run the code hello I'm speaking hello I'm eating both of them works perfectly fine but if I used class I couldn't extend speak and it this helps me structure my code in a very clean and organized manner. Uh, it would also help me avoid writing duplicated code. What's the difference between trait and interface? Well, interface, as we have already talked about, does not implement anything. It's just a skeleton. But trait is more like a class. It can implement all the function that it talks about. But interface is just a skeleton. And we have also talked about multiple traits like this with comma. You can list all of them at once or you can say use speak and then use it. But I personally prefer the first way you could just use comma and put them as a list and both of them still works, no problem. That's the end of this section. Let's go to the next one.